Well, good morning, everyone. I'd like to talk about a proud dad moment. Um, I am trying very hard to change my ways as a father, as a person in life, as a leader, as a as an example. Um, realizing that I'm not the man I need to be, and I'm coming to terms with that and trying to address that. So. The story begins last night. I get home from work and the lawnmower is out front and the garbage can is next to the lawnmower. And then I figure out somebody's been using the lawnmower and dumping the clippings in the trash can. Awesome. You know, that, that's cool because not everyone did that. And I kind of caused a stink about it because they fill the bag and then it sits for weeks until we use the mower again. And then I have to dump the rancid grass. So that was cool. Step one. Good. And as I walk from my car to the house, I notice the lawnmower is covered. Where's the camera? Covered in oil. And I'm like, oh, this brand new mower. The last person that used it was me. I put it together. I had one tank of what, half, half a gallon of gasoline through it how is this thing this covered in oil this quickly and I'm like my my hair standing up and I'm wanting to just the crap you know but I didn't I'm like okay so as I got closer I realized that the um, the deck of the mower was covered in oil so I kind of walk around the mower and I look and I'm like, okay well the oil plug is still there and this is still there and as I walk around, I realize there's markings. There's a trail from the gas cap down the side. I'm like, if that was gas, that would have evaporated by now. I mean, it would have evaporated in seconds. So I run my finger down the gas tank. It's full of motor oil. Or it was motor oil. So I'm like, okay, how could this have possibly happened? And I'm piecing the puzzle together, realizing the pieces don't fit. I'm like, okay, well, when the wife cuts the grass, she knows to use the gas can. So I come in the I come in the front door, and everyone's home. Like, Hi, Daddy. And I said, uh, who used the lawnmower? And my daughter comes out. Oh, uh, and she's like terrified because you know. I did. I said, okay, uh, what happened, honey? You know, uh, is, is everything okay? Did the engine blow up? No, uh, I tried putting gas in it and, and it quit running. Okay. Um, where did you get the gas that you put in the mower? And she goes, from that great big white barrel that you have in the shed. Now, if you don't know and you haven't been following my channel, the great big white barrel is full of processed waste oil. That is my recipe for running my diesel engine. I'm like, And I want to, have you never seen me put gas in the freaking mower with the red can that says gasoline on the side? So I'm like, no, no, no. Worst things have happened in this world. It'll be okay. I can clean a carburetor. I can, I can fix this. So I said, um, honey, and, and, and as I'm sitting there processing, I wanted to get mad. I didn't know. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get mad. So I'm sitting there processing and I'm realizing that all the YouTube videos I make where I'm not the one recording, my daughter's the one recording. And she's the one watching me pour motor oil or whatever, vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil, waste vegetable oil. She's watching me put all this stuff into this engine on my toolbox in the garage to make these videos to say look at what, a, what look at what this engine can run on she didn't understand 
that that was diesel and the other one was gas. So I'm like, okay, okay. Did it start after you put the fuel in? Well, it was for a second and then it died. I'm like, okay. So even like the jets are loaded with motor oil. The good thing is it's clean oil. It doesn't have bits and pieces in it, so to speak. Like, okay. And I should have known because if my if it was my wife, my wife looked completely clueless when she came out. She was like, "What?" You know. And I'm sitting there processing. And so, okay, what did you use to get the oil out of the full 55 gallon drum, which is you know 450 pounds? So she's not going to pick it up and tilt it over. What did you use to get the fuel, the stuff out of the barrel? Oh, I used your little hand pump. I used this hand pump uh, that I bought to suck the bad fuel out of our quad that sat for so long that the fuel went bad. And she said, "Well, the 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 white barrel said gasoline on it." I said, "Did you did you miss the part where it said six gallons of gasoline, or five gallon, or whatever it was?" Uh, I mix the gasoline with the waste oil to increase the flash point of the diesel and thin it out, making that fuel pump work a little less hard. Oh, no, I didn't see that. I didn't realize that. And so I come out back, and I show her. And then I'm like, hey, come here, honey. I'm not mad at you. Number one, because you tried. And number two, because you did what you thought was right. It wasn't right, but you thought it was right. And number three, because you told me you were trying to impress me with the work that you did. I am impressed, and I am proud of you. Now, let me take you into the garage, and I will show you the red gas can that says gasoline on the side. And as I'm busy explaining this to her, I realize... She's never watched me put gasoline in the mower because I always hand it to her, hand it to her, whatever. I'll do half. I'll say, all right, honey, your half is ready. She was trying to take it upon herself to do the entire yard and refill the gas tank and do all the things right. And I said, honey, I'm, I'm proud of you for trying. You made a bad, bad decision. And this isn't one with a consequence. The mower's replaceable, but your effort is what I'm proud of. So, in times like these, I try to remind myself there are worse things in life. She could have broken her arm. There are worse things in life. She could not be here. She could have broken a leg and not been able to walk. You know, she... Anything, almost any situation you're in, it could be worse. So I was proud of myself as a dad for not exploding, possibly ruining the brand spanking new lawnmower, whatever, mower's replaceable. I was proud of her for trying. And at the same time, I was very humbled because I realized that I wasn't the example. Uh, this was an example of me not being the example I need to be. If I'm going to show you how to use a mower, I should probably have showed you how to refill it. You know? Um, good experience. Good Good uh, learning moment on my behalf that I need to be a better example and make a point of being a better example because if I was she'd know how to refuel that gas tank so it's just as much her fault as it is mine for the girl that was holding the camera when I was showing everyone how many things a diesel engine will run on so I love you all thank you all for your support continue to follow along Lots of changes are coming. Um, have a good day. Tacoma SRT5. Have a good one.